Okay, so PTTP is here at Eastbourne Job Centre and uh, it's a rather large building. Actually, it's outside and it's starting to rain. So I'm going to head in and have a little look around. So, we've got these posters up here. Pardon? You need to take your helmet off, please. Why? You need to take your helmet off, please. Why? Because you can't have it indoors. You can't have it indoors. Of course, that's the whole point. That's the whole point of having the open face helmet. Yeah, but you can't have it indoors. 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 Yeah, but you Bloody hell, me off. Pardon? But why? Can you take your, can you take your camera off? No, it's not on. No, can you take it off? Can you take it off, please? <coughs> Why? That's the policy. You what policy? Can you, can you show me where that's written? Because I've never been asked to take my helmet off ever in a job centre. Ever. Mm -hmm. If you can show me a written is, is policy... It, is it recording, right? If you can show me a written policy by recording? DWP, then I will take it off. Oh, right. So if you can get that policy no, no, for me... The filming with DWP. And it's a policy in the so. Yeah. Again, you if you can... Take, you can take photographs of the pictures and I'll have to film the DWP. Okay, how many, yeah. take, how many pictures am I allowed to take? I don't know. But if you take the picture of the posters, it's fine. Um, like you did. Yeah. But you have to take the helmet off because you've got a camera there as well. How many pictures yes. am I allowed to take? You're not, you're, as it states, you can take pictures of, of posters. If okay. You take of the posters, that's fine. How many am I allowed to take? Is there, is there a limit? As long as you want to just get the photographs of what you need, that's okay. it. And is there a limit how many I can take per second? No. Right. That's all the video is. Is a certain amount of pictures per second. I understand what he's saying, but the DWP doesn't allow you to video. But this is a public place. It's a public place, and yes. you're not allowed to. 
to film in a public place. Of course you're allowed to film in a public okay. place. What do you want to film? Do you want to just look at the boards? Yes. Yeah, okay. You can have a look at Thank those. You. That's fine. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. As long as you're just doing the, the yeah. information signs, that's fine. And we, oh, we, we don't want to be recorded so ourselves. Well, we don't it's too late now recording. because you've already in, engaged with me. Okay. But, but so we don't want any future recording. We don't want anything uploaded onto any media platforms. Okay. But you're welcome to um, look at the information yes. boards. Uh, yes, so you're allowed to record in a public uh, place. <laughs> this, uh, the manager has some sort of sense about her. It's crazy. Sometimes it's G4S, sometimes it's the staff. This time it seems to be it's the, uh, the G4S. So, yeah, what was I? I was up here. So you got better off in work. And the situation up there. So they, they tend to have these a lot over in um, in DWPs about being better off in work, and they put up different scenarios and situations. This one, don't know, the bank holiday coming up. The offices and phone lines will be closed on Monday the 8th of May 2023. Uh, there you go, so if you're expecting a payment on the Monday the 8th of May, your payment will go in early and it will go in on the 5th of May. If you're not expecting it on the 8th of May, it will go in as usual. Hello. Hi. Uh, yeah, so I have to say this is um, by far the best like, I've seen in terms of GDPR compliancy. So I don't know if you can see, they've got like a little desk thing there, and on the underneath is the appointment list. And even from when I stood around there, they actually have covers over the appointment list. So in terms of GDPR compliancy, that is by far the best I've seen in any job centre. They've got a list of uh, useful numbers and stuff there. <coughs> get those bottom ones. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. As usual, it's the G4S making ridiculous demands. So these are the jobs that are on offer here around uh, Eastbourne, down in Sussex. So East Sussex College is hosting a retail course. It's a free course, fully funded. You get a level two retail qualification. I didn't even know you could get an, a qualification in retail. I've worked in retail many, many, many years, pretty much since I was 18 through to 26, 27. And uh, never have I met anybody that has uh, needed a qualification to work in retail. So that's interesting. But they're still going on about it now. So it's talking to a different security guard now. But, but yeah, so yeah. But yeah, I just wanted to say actually, um, I was just saying that that is the best thing I've seen in a, in a job centre in terms of GDPR compliancy. So massive congratulations on that. It's, it's really good. Even when I was looking at the sign over there, so you've got the covers over the appointment list yeah, and everything. Yeah. It's fantastic. It's really good to see. 
it's good to see a job centre actually taking people's personal data seriously. There's a lot of places, a lot of job centres that don't, which is why I come and do what I do. You know, I'm not here to, to cause a nuisance. I come and do this because there are so many job centres that don't, and they're just so flagrant with people's <laughs> data, and it's, it's, it's a disgusting to me, really. So I really must say I'm, I'm very, very impressed with that. So Thank massive you. congratulations, and to whoever the manager or whoever's idea it was to have that, yeah. kudos to them. Yeah. Yeah. All righty, brilliant. Okay, Thank you. Mate. Take care. Yeah. yeah, I'm not talking to you. Um, Yeah, so credit where credit is due, you know. Um, G4S were ridiculous. Um, take your helmet off. As I said, you know, you spend money on getting a, a modular helmet so the face opens up. I don't have my snood up cover in my face. And, uh, yeah, go take your helmet off, he says. There's absolutely no reason whatsoever to ask it. So the only thing I'm checking around here, which seems to be good, I just want to check these back windows, because I've noticed some of the blinds look a bit open, but They've uh, actually got like frosted glass all the way across the bottom of the windows, which is the same on the front of the building. So yeah, I must say, Eastbourne Job Centre, in terms of GDPR compliance, very well done. You know, even from this angle, you really cannot see anything. Obviously, there's the usual issue of the proximity of people having appointments next to each other. That is an ongoing battle with DWP in general, rather than job centre specific. Um, I have contacted the ICO about this issue, but they take a very, very long time to get back to you on issues. So if they get back to you at all in uh, some cases, which obviously because it's a government building, government facility, it may be a case of they ignore it. But, So, yeah, that's been Eastbourne Job Centre, numero uno. I'm going to go pop over and uh, see the other job centre in the Borough Council building. And uh, I'll pick it up with you when I get there. Okay, so, we're over at the other job centre which is also the bar council and the police station and apparently a library. There's a lot going on down here. It's a large multi-use complex, apparently. Appointments only, Grove Road Job Centre, and uh, I think the other job centre must have called them because uh, yeah, we just had uh, G4 Ashgard come and uh, close the door behind me. The Eastbourne Borough Council have moved up to the Town Hall. DWP staff cannot help with council inquiries. Ah, so this job centre actually closes an hour every day for lunch. Which is uh, quite amusing. Hmm. And on Thursdays it's close 10 till 11 as well as an hour for lunch. That's a bit bizarre. I've never seen a job centre do that before. They must be really understaffed. And then they've got a sign up about uh, the offices being closed for the bank holiday. And uh, if you're expected payment 
Yeah, same sign that we've just seen at the uh, other call centre. So we've got this one here. These uh, premises are protected by APS Limited Security. So, it's funny like they look like G4S to me. But... Mm. My lads come in now, am I? Yeah? Brilliant, thank you. How come you locked me out? How come I got locked out? Just there was a problem with the door, with the key, sir. Oh, uh, was it? Yeah. So there was nothing to do with the woman watching me in the window come down and then. I, I, I just assumed you got a call from the other job centre, that was all. No, sir. No? Okay. I'll move it away. Brilliant, thank you very much. posters up here for Eastbourne. That's a lot of information for a job description on one poster. People are not yeah. going to read all of that. The size of that point. That's ridiculous. What's the uh, unemployment like around here? Is it quite high? So are you still recording? Pardon? Are you still recording? Yes, yeah. Then I don't give you permission to record me. Okay. Okay. You're not going to answer the question? No. no. Okay, fair enough. I don't want to... You're welcome to record in here. Okay. But not me. Fair enough. Any I mean, you don't need permission to film in a public place. I didn't know. I didn't tell you did. You no, no. permission to record me there, or No, no, because you're in a public place. Yeah. Uh, that's, like, that's like me saying you need my permission to record me here, but you don't. You, you, I know you're recording, and, and that's it. But it's a public place. You're allowed to do it. Apparently a problem with the door, so he had to go and uh, switch the key and lock me out because there was a, a problem with the door. Apparently, nothing to do with uh, the phone call they were obviously given from the other job centre. Definitely nothing to do with the woman that was watching me from the window as I walked down the street. We have a uh, defibrillator out here. Anybody who's actually have to use it, personally. There you go, for all you Sussex people, scan that QR code and you can let the police know how safe you feel in Sussex. Have a knife bin here in uh, the Eastbourne Police Station.
So, that knife bin? Oh, that knife bin there, is that there year round? The, the knife bin there, is that there year round, is it? Yes. Uh, year yeah. round amnesty. Yeah, and it gets, it gets emptied every few months. Every yeah. few months, yeah. is that all? It's really empty. We do get a lot of people handling them in. Yeah, it's pretty. I mean, I, I, obviously, it's fantastic that it's there. It should be empty a bit more regularly than that, though. Mm. It's a bit of plastic, anybody could come in and get no, away with that. Knocked against the wall, can you see it's got a plastic? Oh, yeah, no, I've seen that, but like to actually get into the plastic, yeah, no, you know. It's, proper, it's got a proper key to get into it. Yeah, but anybody could cut through that. They come in with their knife, they can get away with loads of knives. <laughs> But, uh, but no, it's, it's fantastic that you've got it though. Yeah, is it, it's, it's, it's good and it, it's also, you know, it's for safety for people. If they're found in the street or some mm. people clear out houses, they don't know what to do with them because there's a deceased person and they're selling. Yeah, they yeah. just bring them in here. So what if, um, say, I, say I was bringing one down and on the way down to bring it to the knife bin, I got stopped and searched for whatever reason right. and they found it. Yes. Would, do you reckon that would be a reasonable excuse if I said that I'm literally heading to the yes. station and hunting? because then they would probably say well we'll follow you to the escort you there and take it yeah uh, okay brilliant that's good yeah. and, and that's completely like no questions asked you come in just drop it and yes. leave yeah. yeah we get people coming in can i please dispose of these they show us and we say pop them in the bin yeah, yeah. fantastic that's pretty serious is knife crime quite prevalent here in eastbourne i say? don't know personally yeah but that's our neighborhood policing team would know more of that yeah, yeah. um so um i can't comment all right no worries well thanks for your time okay. yeah. cheers Yeah, so the year-round knife amnesty at uh, Eastbourne Police Station. It's good to see. It's better than, uh, like she said, not knowing what to do with a knife if you don't want it. And uh, yeah, I think it should definitely be empty a bit more regularly than uh, every few months. Though, like I said, it's um, it's a wheelie bin basically, and the. Uh, yeah, somebody really wanted to come in and cut through the plastic and make off with all those knives, there would be very little they could do to stop them. If they had the right tools, they'd be in and out in a flash with all those weapons, which uh, is crazy. Oh god, somebody's actually got a grom. That is... Such a tiny, tiny, tiny little bike. That's ridiculously small. You don't wanna fuck with me. A slow burn like a disease. Just tell me that I can't.